Hey so divine so here you're welcome to the channel if this is your first time stopping by please do want to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel so um i have a message here for the collectives but please only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't but um i'm getting here that this message will resonate with two percent okay two percent of you um also the number 20 could be significant here but I'm speaking to someone that was set aside. You were pulled away from the crowd because you were not meant to fit into the crowd. You were someone that was meant to, by divine right, you were meant to be exempted for the, from the crowd. But it's like a case whereby someone came into the world and you lost yourself and the only way that you could come back to yourself was um you being alone by yourself and that's like the handwork of the divine the divine had to pull you from your job space pull you out from a certain environment pull you out from a relationship pull you out from a group okay and this is because you were not meant to fit in you were meant to stand out um i just said the word imperative so it's like you are someone that is of great importance okay um you are someone that have so much authority you have so much authority um the number seven could be significant the number four could be significant okay the month of april july i'm um, also getting like life path number number four seven also your birth date could be fourth seventh okay Please take it high vibe resonate with you. But I'm speaking to someone that is in alignment with who they are. Okay. This is not someone that is trying to understand themselves. This is someone that is already in tune with who they truly are. Okay. Um, you could be life path number nine. Okay. Or September could be significant. Your date of birth could be ninth of any month. Okay. Or maybe of September 9th nine nine um i'm also getting 1999 1979 also i'm getting that you could be 36 years old i just said cycle of completion i'm speaking to someone that has successfully closed out a cycle here for someone specific you've successfully closed out a nine years karmic cycle maybe this could be nine months this could be nine weeks but i do see something here that came to an end and those moments where you were going through all of those things challenges obstacles good days bad days happy days teary days all of those seasons were your seasons of preparation you were being prepared for a moment like this and i'm hearing that song by Nicki minaj moment for life or yeah moment for life also um i'm getting here for someone specific okay um i see here that you have not ascended yet which means that you are not in tune you are not in alignment yet with who you truly are you could be on the journey to but you are yet to. And this is because the reason why you have been isolated right now is because you are learning. You have been trained. Okay. You are being prepared for the next moment. You are being prepared for this next phase. You are being prepared for this next cycle of your life. That's why everything that you're going through, the trials, the tribulations, the pain, the struggles, is because of a greater purpose if you've been seeing the number one one okay 101 i just said i just said you are here to create a difference so um if you've been seeing the number 11 11 if you've been seeing the number 11 101 um 1101 for someone specific if you've been seeing it frequently and you're wondering why am i seeing this number all the time why why is 11 11 chasing me everywhere i turn to why is 1101 chasing me everywhere i turn to why do i keep seeing 101 
for those of you that you've been seeing this number repeatedly this is your higher self alerting you that you are about to reach the climax you are about to reach um a certain level you are about to ascend to your throne but for you to get there you have to be committed to your path you have to be committed to your path okay so um this is also preparing you for later days okay also if you've been seeing the number 1212 for someone specific you've been seeing the number 1212 the number 1212 has been chasing you everywhere you go this is your higher self awakening you to the journey ahead okay i do see here that you are moving or you are getting ready you are being prepared to move to your 12th house okay that could be significant for someone here but i just heard um the throne awaits you the throne awaits you so which means that you are being prepared to become a king to become a queen before you can take over the throne so allow yourself go through whatever you're going through because this is your preparation season you could be 29 years old or the number 29 could be significant here but to whom i'm speaking to you are a natural born leader okay it's like you are someone that sees what others don't see you are someone that understands what leadership means because the truth is to be a true leader you must first be a servant the role of a leader is to first be of service when you're being placed um as a leader it is not a place for you to pride yourself and say oh i am bigger than everybody or nobody's better than me no that's not what it is being a leader is also being of service so when you are of service you are leading that's what it is and that's who i'm speaking to okay i'm getting here that you have what it takes within you to to be a leader because you are a good servant because you are someone that serves so that's why the divine wants to move you to your, your throne because that's where you deserve to be you are a sheep that listens and that's why you are about to become a leader to lead other sheep. okay you are about to enter that position here i'm speaking to someone that's about to tap into their divine masculine divine feminine superpowers okay and that is what will put you on that pedestal as a leader i'm speaking to someone that is about to ascend to the throne as a true leader and let me tell you this once you get to that throne remember that because of your loyalty because of your humility because of your service to others that is why you are being um placed on that throne do not get to that throne and forget your yourself do not get there and start feeling so highly of yourself because you had to walk you had to to go through tons and tons of lessons to get to where you are right now and when you are being placed there understand that your role is not just to be a leader but to be of service because that's how you lead when you are serving others that's what makes you a perfect leader i'm also getting here that you are about to get a replacement of life it's like your old life is about to be replaced with a new i'm also picking up on the number five so i'm getting like in five months time seven months time from now or this could be like five years time seven years time from now but I do see here that you will become a different person in that time frame. Okay, you will become a different person. And also, let me remind you. Let me remind you why you were chosen to be a leader. You were chosen to be a leader because you are wise. There is a clear difference between being tricky and being wise. I received the scripture here um proverbs 24 verse 6 
that's um, 6 6 and it says for by wise guidance you can wage your war and in abundance of counselors there is victory okay also proverbs 19 verse 20 says listen to advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom in the future so if you are reluctant if you are headstrong if you are adamant and you're saying oh i don't want to listen i don't want to take um advice from um people or i don't want to learn something new or i don't want to listen to, to the divine to god speak to me or to guide me you are not ready to be in position to be great you have to be obedient you have to be humble you have to be diligent in spirit you must be willing to serve you must be willing to serve that's what makes you a true leader um i just heard the word obscurity i'm getting here that um you are about to be moved from a nobody to a great person you are about to be moved from a nobody to a great woman to a great man for someone specific here i'm getting that um you are about to switch roles with top names in the industry okay so for instance if you're like a model and you know naomi campbell and all of that you are about to be like the next big name that's what i'm picking up on here okay it's like someone that let's say for instance if you are in the creating industry if you create something like in tech or anything right and you have like a creating platform that that will be greater than that of you know mark zuckerberg or um, elon musk but i do see someone that has the potentiality to replace these names oh my goodness i just said the greatest of all times you are the goat you are the greatest of all time wow this feels like the reincarnation of an ancestor here and that's what i'm picking up on here it's like the reincarnation of somebody here oh my goodness i'm also getting something about all times square you could be in the fashion industry, fashion designer, an artist, but I'm seeing like billboards. I'm seeing lots of flashlights. And um, I just, I heard portfolio, portfolio. I'm also picking up on a street photographer but who I'm speaking to, you will be announced. You will be known for your good works globally, okay? You'll be announced for your creativity, okay? And for someone specific here, there is something that you've been creating behind the scene for nine years. Like you've been trying to achieve something for nine years for someone specific. I'm getting here that now it is ready to be showcased. It is ready to be showcased to the world. I just heard your light is about to be witnessed. So whoever I'm speaking to, you are about to be seen. You are about to be recognized. You are about to be noticed. So I don't know if you are ready. I don't know if you're prepared, but that is what is coming in for you. This message is for someone that has reached the finish line. If you notice that I do give messages in two ways, okay so first part is for someone that needs to ascend and the other part is someone that has finished something here but this message is specifically for someone that has already reached the finish line so i'm getting here that you've been moved to the throne this will be your compensation for a job well done because you successfully completed the task that was being given to you by the divine okay you did not put it aside you did not um disobey you listened and you moving to the throne will be your reward i'm speaking to an actorian star seed okay you can read more about them but you are amongst the builders and leaders 
you are like someone that is part of the movers and shakers of this world okay and your mission is to innovate the world this could be through science this could be through technology this could be through architecture okay but um someone is about to be reborn rich that was what i heard i heard reborn rich okay if you've been dealing with financial crisis you are about to be reborn rich you are about to move into your multi-millionaire phase i'm speaking to someone that is meant to be rich and famous you are a celebrity in the making okay if this is not the life you've been manifesting then this will clearly not resonate with you but if this is something that you've been calling in you've been asking you've been seeking for i'm telling you it is closer than you can even imagine you could be a writer um i'm getting here that you will be a well-known writer i'm picking up on the energy of someone that um is destined for greatness here okay you are someone that um you've been on the battlefield for a long time you've been fighting battles both seen and unseen you've been slain demons i'm getting here that you had to experience that you had to experience all of that to prove that you are a true leader to prove that you are ready to to take charge you had to be the logo of change you had to be the one and you did a great job you did an amazing job in slaying your demons defeating your fears you've done a very huge work on yourself because the plan was to trap you the plan was to keep you trapped okay so that you don't awaken to who you are you don't awaken to this greatness in you but you successfully defeated these demons and you broke free from that also i do see here that this position that you're about to attain this will attract jealousy spirit but i need you to pay attention to the divine not to these low vibrational entities okay you are abundant and that is a divine blessing for for being obedient okay that is the divine blessing you for being obedient to the call for listening to the call for taking heed so it is time it is time to show these folks who the king of the jungle is i'm getting here that the throne is already prepared for you so walk boldly walk fiercely because you did it you should be proud of yourself because the divine is proud of you okay so um i will leave this message here and i hope that this message gives you peace and clarity till next time divine blessings